Sorry, I was out of it. Wait, are we being robbed? If you haven't seen Family Guy, you must have been born in between these years or you've been living under a wall. If you somehow don't know what this show is, I just can't believe I said that. This is a 1999 sitcom and trust me, it has everything you need. And yeah, while some episodes can be complete dog shit, there was a lot of episodes that I really, really, really lit. Like usual, we're going to be looking at five episodes and I'm not going to cap like I did on the boondocks where I looked at four instead of five. Go watch that video, by the way. It's really good. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Look at him. Do you want to be on the ground just like him? With his ankles broken? All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button to prevent that. First episode we're gonna be looking at is PTV Season 4 Episode 14. This episode starts off with a pretty hilarious Osama joke. This is a message to all American infidels. Prepare to die in a sea of holy fire. You will be punished for your decadent ways on the first day of Radaman. You <laughs> wait, wait a minute, wait, did I just say, what did I say, Radaman? The joke go on for quite some time and it actually got a few laughs out of me. Dewey's disguised as like, I don't know what, death or some shit. And he defeats Osama Bin Laden and all the other Oclatador crews. He is our true holy savior. Alright, now to the episode. Peter's laying down a red carpet, getting ready to watch the show called The Emmys at 5.30 in the morning. Now, wait a minute, hold on now. Why would a show be on at 5.30 in the morning? Don't they know? You know what? It's, fam it's a family guy. It's a family guy episode. Why, why am I questioning this? Peter wants to watch the show, but Meg got to play, but he don't want to go because... Max sucks. However, Lois make do go and the play is straight dog on it, bro. Or we got dogs punching babies to leave early, bro. It's not, it's not good. So pretty much, they are censoring TV because a dude got injured or something and now they don't know what to do because they got a lot of complaints to Karen's complaining on TV saying, Oh, it's so graphic, oh my god. So now they're censoring TV and Peter do not like that. I wouldn't too because just imagine that. You chilling watching a show and then something just seems off of them. Like that show can have dark humor, dark theme, it can be mean to blackies. It, it like, it's a certain kick to it that makes the show what it is. But now it's gone. That's literally going to ruin the whole show. So Peter starts his own TV program called PTV. And somehow, which I somehow is doing numbers. Tonight we're going to enjoy the smooth jazz of Charles Mingus. Norman Mailer is here to read an excerpt from his latest book. And then we also have a girl from Omaha who's hiding a banana. We'll find out where. Giggity giggity. Giggity goo. Stick around. You was just a man before your time. But however, the FCC came away and took all of his equipment so he can't upload no more content. So then the FCC started censoring stuff in real life, meaning, meaning they can't poop nor have the anymore. So they decided to drive to Washington to get it lifted and they did and yeah, that was pretty much the episode. It was actually really good. I give it 9 out of 10 farts. I'm recording this second episode two weeks later when I... <laughs> okay, whatever. T. Peter season 2... Did I just say C? Season 10 episode 21 is pretty wild, let's say that. Not to alarm anyone, but some guy took me in the closet and tried me on. This episode pretty much starts off with the gang in the store and Peter says, uh, Come in, we'll open sign. And Peter, not being smart, takes the sign and nails it to the door and all these random people just start coming in. So will this phenomenon just keep happening? All these random people start coming in his house and like buying stuff and selling stuff. Like, it's so weird. Until Joe comes in, I'm assuming everybody knows Joe, you know, police dude, wheelchair guy. Yeah. And shuts down the business because it's an unlicensed registered. Yeah, y'all don't give a damn about that. Order what you need at O'ReillyAuto.com and pick it up at the counter or call and we'll bring it right out to you while you wait. Two easy ways to buy online and pick up at your local store. O'Reilly Auto Parts, keeping you on the road. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. So pretty much Peter, like, he he joins this group called the Tea Party, and they again so it's a it's a democracy episode. It's a democracy episode, let's say that. I don't even know how to describe the rest of the episode. Like pretty much Peter tells these group of people to like pay money and that's how it solves people's problems. It's it's good, don't get me wrong, but I really don't know how to describe it, so 
Next episode? It ain't really an episode, but it's just a compilation of these two niggas fighting. Like, these dudes really started scrapping over a chicken coupon, bruh. Now, listen, I know chicken is like the prime source of all happiness and all, but over, over that, bruh. Hey, look at this. Back, Fight back, nigga. Fight back. Fight back. Fight back. Maybe a bad coupon. Yeah, I know it's Family Guy and all that, but why? How how are you alive, Peter? Your ass should be gassed by now. However, if I talk about all the times these two are scrapped, this video would be as long as Kid to Insomnia. Oh my god, look at that! Wow, that looks pretty bad. Is the Chinese guy dead? I'm pretty sure you know about the You Got AIDS song. You have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. I hate to tell you, boy, that you have AIDS. If it's one thing that Family Guy can get right, it's pissing people off, and I'm all for it. This is hilarious. You know what I found out? Like, Brian just get jumped. He just get beat throughout the whole series. Like, he get beat by Stewie, Greg, Greg, Gragmeyer. <laughs> I just have a thought in the back of my head that this video is not going to be uploaded because of all the stuff in it. And if it does get uploaded, Susan, I love you. But that is the end of the video. And I know it's a little bit shorter than my other reviews and all that. But um, yeah, I've just been doing stuff. And I haven't uploaded in one month, which what in the world? This is the longest time I haven't uploaded a video. And I kind of feel bad because, you know, I have people to view me. <laughs> Which I'll surprisingly view, which I appreciate, but yeah, consistent uploads is happening again, and I won't fail at that, so, yeah. 299!